let's talk about the rule of three in C++ using this example code. Here, we have a class called Word that manages a raw C style string using a char pointer. The class allocates memory in its constructor and frees it in its destructor. This introduces a classic challenge in C++. How do we handle copying and assignment safely when managing dynamic memory? In the constructor, we see memory being allocated with new for the string and copied with uh, string copy. So far, so good, but here's where things get tricky. If we don't write a custom copy constructor and copy assignment operator, C++ will automatically generate default ones that perform shallow copies. A, a shallow copy will just copy the pointer value for data here. And this would just copy the pointer value and not the actual memory it points to. This means that two objects could end up pointing to the same memory. When one object is destroyed, it deletes that memory, leaving the other one with a dangling pointer. Accessing or deleting it again would cause undefined behavior, crashes, or memory corruption. This is, this is exactly why we need the rule of three. If a class manages resources like dynamic memory, you must explicitly declare three things. A copy constructor to correctly duplicate resources, a copy assignment operator to handle assignments safely, and a destructor to clean up when an object goes out of scope. In this code, the copy constructor allocates new memory and copies over the string. The copy assignment operator first leaks that memory to avoid leaks, then allocates fresh memory and copies the data. Uh, and finally, the destructor frees the memory when the object is destroyed. The function test rule of three demonstrates this in action. First, we create S1 with the constructor. Then we copy S1 into S2, which calls the copy constructor. And then later we assign S1 into S3, and this calls the copy assignment operator. And when the function ends, all three objects are destroyed, triggering the destructor for each. Each time you see constructor called, copy constructor called, or destructor called in the console output, it's C++ showing us these functions in action. This code works correctly because we followed the rule of three. Without it, we'd likely see memory errors when objects are copied or destroyed. So remember, if your class allocates resources, you must take responsibility for how copies and assignments are handled. That is the essence of the rule of three.